Good morning, friends. I uh, greet you in the wonderful, all-prevailing, beautiful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's certainly be a privilege to uh, address you this morning. I'm standing in for Brother Nicky, who's on his way back home. We trust that God give him safe traveling mercies, restore his body, and uh, also restore the virtues. And uh, we pray that God will bless his mercy further. Let us just pray. Almighty God, eternal Heavenly Father, we certainly want to give you praise and glory and honor, worship and adoration. We want to let you know that we love you and we appreciate you, Lord. Surely, there's nobody like you. Nobody can be compared with you, Father. You are the only true God. You are the rose of Sharon to us, the bright and morning star. You are the lily of the valley, Lord. You are our sure foundation. You are the strong fortress we can run to and feel safe. You, O oh God, are the reason why we are living. You are the center theme of our lives. We pray this morning, Almighty God, that you would come and just bless this little thought that we'll be sharing. May the Holy Ghost give unction, Lord, and may these few words be a blessing to the hearts of those who will be hearing it, Lord. Forgive us of our wrongs and our mistakes, our failures, our sins and iniquities, but may you meet with us. And undertake for us, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, saints, I'd like to read with you uh, the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, and verse 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldst bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Now, Church of the Living God, friends, Jabez, as a little title, Jabez was conceived in pain and sorrow, but he was delivered in victory. Just a few observations in this portion of scripture. The first thing we want to note was that there came an abrupt halt while the rhetoric was given of the lineage of the different families of Israel. And God hearkened. He stopped the rhetoric and hearkened unto the prayer of Jabez. Now, the Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, which tells me that his brethren did not have a good report with God and the Israelites. Secondly, Jacob, Jabez the name Jabez means conceived in pain. And thirdly, he called upon the name of the God of Israel. And God listened to his plight. Fourthly, he says, oh, that thou wouldst bless me indeed. Not just bless me, but bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast 
and that thou wouldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. I like this. And God granted his request. Isn't it just wonderful to note that the book of Chronicles chapter 4 deals with the lineage of Judah and the other families of Israel. Like I said, they came in a rapt halt. Amen. Then verse 1 to 8. And then from verse 9 to 10, God gave ear to the prayer of Jabez. Just imagine this man from birth. He was in pain, excruciating pain and sorrow as a little baby, as a teenager, as a young adult, as a matured man. The only thing this man struggled with was pain. Just imagine, brother and sister, the situation this man was in. Born in pain and in sorrow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now this man, he had a pitiful past and no hope for the future. He struggled to find meaning and significance in life. He yearned and craved for a relationship with God. And after his desperate cry unto the Lord God, God changed his situation. All his life he suffered with anguish, excruciating pain and sorrow. And the Bible says, God granted him that which was requested. Isn't that wonderful, church? God granted him his request. He was conceived in pain, but he was delivered in victory. And then just after God answered his prayer, then the Bible rhetoric, amen, carries on with the lineage. Now, when we look at the book of Luke, chapter 8 and verse 43 to 48. The Bible says there was a woman who had been suffering with a blood issue. Just listen to this. For 12 years. For 12 years. Praise God. And though she had spent all her life savings, Praise God, Allah. She spent it on physicians. No one could cure her. Praise the Lord. No one could heal her. Amen. No one could come up with a solution of the hemorrhage that she had. Glory to Jesus. But, listen to this. I find this very very intriguing because many, many times I hear that people say she touched the hem of his garment. But you know what? The Bible says she touched the fringe of his clothes. Now, when you look at the fringe, you'll find it's a little strands of material that hangs down the fringe of his garment. Now you can just imagine how much virtue, oh, the blood of Jesus. You can imagine how much virtue, glory to God, was in that body of Christ. You can imagine how much, praise God, hallelujah, power exhumed out of, out of this garment that he wore. That the mere touch 
of this woman by faith. Glory to God. She was immediately, immediately healed of a hemorrhage. Hallelujah. And then we find another account of blind Bartimaeus. Amen. Verse 43. Praise God, hallelujah, Mark chapter 10. And uh, let's read 46. And they came into Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Now, you must also have the right approach to God. You must know in what this dispensation you are living. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. And he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus, hallelujah, stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Be of good comfort. Rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garments, rose and came to Jesus. What a wonderful thought. He came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight and Jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith had made it now listen to this listen to this friends and immediately he received his sight and listen what he did with that healthy body praise God hallelujah he followed Jesus in the way and our prophet teach us if you if God has healed you, you had better make sure that you serve God with that healthy body. Amen. Praise God. And so, my brother, we can point to many accounts how people by faith was healed by Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, we, do not have, we don't have to look for, uh, in these rhetorics that we have and accounts that's given, we do not have to look for veracity because God's word is truth. I want to encourage you this morning, don't look to your situation, no matter how dire it is. If God can make a way for Moses through the Red Sea, if he can protect Daniel in the lion's den. Hallelujah. And he can, if he could be with those, uh, those Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, glory to God. If he can make a way for his children through Jordan. If he can praise God, hallelujah, uh, 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 make a way for, 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 uh, uh, for uh, Elijah to, to, to withstand Jezebel. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God. Amen. Now all those that I mentioned was under the blood of bulls and goats. Now, friends, we are sitting, standing under the blood of redemption. And all that was in God, blessed be the name of the Lord. And all that was in God, God placed into Christ. And all that was in Christ, God put in his church. We have the authority, friends. We have the power. Amen. Brother Branham says, to cast out demons. My friend, God did not bring us a, a spirit of fear. No. He wants us to be overcomers. And not only overcomers, all that overcomes in Christ. 
friends you may say it's monday it's a blue monday i don't know nothing about the blue monday i just came out of the sunday morning service and monday morning i'm still under that anointing and that's going to see me through friends you have a right it's not just only for the high priest now to go into the certain of glory that curtain has been rent in two from top to bottom and you know what we have access to the throne of god call upon the name of the lord church of the living god friends call upon the name of the lord if you are backslidden call today upon the name of the lord and he will restore you if you are a sinner may be listening call upon the name of the lord he will save you if you have uh, infirmities in your body call upon the name of the lord touch hallelujah by faith the hem of his garment and believe and you shall be healed if you ask Lord, hallelujah. He's got seven compound redemptive names to answer the need of your people. Father, we thank you for the short little devotion that we had this morning. May it encourage somebody, Lord, to look to, to the examples that you have given us in your Bible, which is the truth. And now by the revelation of the word of God that you sent our way Lord we are more than overcomers because we know exactly how to deal with the wiles of Satan That's why the Bible says we must resist the devil I didn't say we must resist sin Lord the Bible says Father God we must resist the devil and may you encourage us Father God to resist the devil may the church of the living god may the believers today step out in victory like jabez lord who was delivered who was born in pain but he was delivered in victory so we stand in the power of the res- resurrection of jesus christ in that we have your move and we have your being in Jesus precious name amen